So according to all the weather forecasts, about 8 a.m. is when our icy crap is going to hit the ground, the fan. I don't know how to phrase what's going to happen. <laughs> Morning, morning. We are not nearly that chilly. Of course, it's also in that weird, like, it's cold, but it's almost like snow cold. Funny thing, sometimes when I come back right in the middle of these buildings, it's just like, all of a sudden, pff, holy pot smell. Oop, there comes the wind. Yeah, see, we are not in, you see that? This is like very, really high level clouds. That's part of why it's a little bit warmer this morning. But I think that that's, that's why, <laughs> if you look over towards the west, actually it's the east. Our, the thing is it's cold because the wind is coming in from the east. So the near desert we have over on the east side of the Cascades is coming down the gorge and deciding to freeze Portland. They probably didn't like the fact that we voted a different way from them. All this has been going through my head since I put on this jacket over my sweatshirt was so you're bundled up now, wait till you get older. And I was like, oh man, it's not that cold. I'm gonna be roasting. This sucks, this is a bad idea. Then that gust of wind hit? Nope, no problem here. Yeah, I mean, I've only got this little walk up here and back, so I don't have much on. I've got not my nice jog pants on because those are, those are really thin, <laughs> but I have my normal, pants, my normal jog pants on, plus my white t-shirt underneath my gray hood, because I don't, I have a thick hoodie, but they're both in the wash right now, because <laughs> I wore them a lot and they kind of smell. <laughs> that guy, he like peeked out of his door and now he's like running, I'm like, is he trying to get to a max? <laughs> Probably. Like he peeked his head out and went, oh, 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 and then locked his door and is like, Looking in. Yeah, in in terms of having, he probably if he's like going to an airport, he's probably got a whole like duffel bag full of clothing, and he's running as fast as he can <laughs> without moving his arms. So I did some hills yesterday with Willie, but my shin was given up at about ten. So as Willie said, he goes, "Well, you are injured, and if it doesn't hurt bad tomorrow." then it was a good thing. If it terribly hurts tomorrow, we need to reassess. Well, I'm walking. <laughs> Doesn't hurt that bad. So, plus I did the bikes. My hand has gone solid. Do I have a glove? No. No, I just need to stop recording for a second and put my hand in a pocket. All right, I've warmed my hand up a little bit. Fod. So the guy ran all the way up here and he got to the edge, he was checking something on his phone and then like begrudgingly walked back across the tracks. And he's like walking all the way home. Which is like totally super sad because if I suspect what's going on is he thought that the red line came by here. <laughs> and he saw that on the schedule a red line does come by here so he's trying to make it to the red line and the red line doesn't come by here. He, he missed it by either uh, 30 minutes or like nine hours. Uh, well there's that first one like 5.30 in the morning. Yeah. Sometimes six o'clock, I think. I've caught it. Yeah, but... I've caught it on the way to this shop. But yeah, it's... But there's also one on the way back. Yeah, and people, they don't realize. Because we're only a few stops from Beaverton Transit Center. So, and they think, I live in Beaverton, and the red line goes to Beaverton. That's it, that's as far as their brain goes. And I'm like, there's like... The stop name says Beaverton at the front. There's that, but I'm saying people live in Beaverton, they think... That's, that's, that's as far, I didn't even go to the fact that we are at Beaver Creek. But like in terms of the stops in Beaverton, sunsets in Beaverton, yeah, sunsets in Beaverton. No, it's in Portland still. Mm. And then, so Beaverton, Central, Millican, Beaver Creek, Merlot, Elmonica, Willow Creek, and then I think you move into Hillsboro. Because Tannisborn's pushing Hillsboro. I get both, I, at the gym I can do both Beaverton and Hillsboro things. It is freaking out because our faces were too close together. Much better. Orange. <laughs> yeah, they've been running the max all night. I haven't been hearing it, but that's what they do when it comes down to icy stuff because that way they can, in case any ice wants to show up on the on the tracks or on you the can, can you hear it? How low sounding it is? Yeah. They're like 
coming to a stop way slower than they typically do. And the tracks themselves are so much colder and dense that they're not resonating as much sound. We've got a little bit of internet right here. I could check the actual temperature, but... See if that came through on the sound. I mean, it most likely did. I just didn't want... Lots of sparks. <laughs> well, that could just be... That's... I, why the sparks happen sometimes, I don't know. Sometimes there's crap on the ray, the line. And that's actually, it's called it's called the line. Because the pantowire is the thing that's holding it up. Oh. Uh, okay. Alright, no. I thought the pantowire was the whole assembly. No, the pantowire is what, go, I think the pantowire is what goes up from the train to the wire. But I looked up the pantowire and it gave me the, <laughs> the, this little thing. Not the wire and not the tower. I think that's a panta tower or something like that. I, you have anything to talk about? We have not talked much. No, um... I mean, I've, I've progressed in EVE as far as I can during the initial phase, the kind of, I guess they call it Inception Plus, like all of the basic skill training stuff. And it's fun, but it's too slow for the amount of time I have. Yeah, and um, I've been like three bases away, and sometimes I'll get a mission that's like one of, that X of Y. Yeah. And other times I'll just get two missions that constantly cycle back and forth. Like, I did five missions the other day, and when I got to mission five, I realized it was just mission one a third time. To the same location. I was fighting the same enemies. Yeah, I, I had was like, a mission... Oh, uh, okay. Like this. The pirates have stolen these rare songbirds that don't exist in the wild and only exist in captivity, and these are the last two left. Go, go rescue them. You had to do that a couple. You did that a couple well, times. I, I went out and rescued him and came back, and said, "Thank you, new mission." The pirates have stolen these songbirds. Yeah. See, the thing is, mine was like a data encryption bundle code thing. So I was like, "Oh, that's fine," and I didn't necessarily realize where it was because you know it just says warp to location. You just go to a random yeah. quest location. But the third time, I realized that the enemies and the base they were around was the exact same ones. Like it was fr it was a rookie, rookie, rookie fighter and a frigate. What I'm and I was like, confused by his, when you go to those, are you going into an instance? No. Or could someone else come by and clear it out? Will it respawn someone, on its own? Yeah. Hmm. So if I just stick around long enough, will it come back? The closest thing to an instance in EVE that I know of is your ship in the base. Hmm. That's it. That's the closest thing I can think of to an instance. I haven't explored much of the game, and I'm pro And if someone from E finds this and says, no, 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 whatever, you guys can just barf all over the comments. I don't care. <laughs> I'm actually vaguely interested in whether or not the instance. But to me, it's, it's not because asteroid belts themselves, even though they are locations, the problem is, is if I was on your friends list and we were actually not and warring races, factions, factions, whatever, you could come to me. You could just warp to my location. Yeah, but I mean, specifically the quest areas. You can warp to my location. It's still a valid place. You don't... Oh. I mean, to me, this is how EVE has been done since its inception. And they didn't have the kind of technology back then, when they first started the game, they may have been put it in. But unlike what WoW has, True. where you walk into an area and you kind of get that weird scenario thing happen, Where you don't actually do a loading screen, it's just sort of like... I have a little bit Spring of lag. fades to black and... Or e not even sometimes. Yeah. It's just like, you just sort of get a momentary visual lag and then it says, objectives! But that doesn't happen in EVE. Because yeah. I can still hear people in local, which... Like actually hear them? No. Oh. I don't know what I what I was hearing. I kept hearing an ad and it was really quiet and I couldn't figure out what it was coming from. But I did have a web browser open. Gotcha. Well, I'm going to put my hand back in the thing. I don't know where Aaron's train is at. It's right here. Oh! All right. Couldn't even hear it coming down the thing. Yeah. Alright. Bye. Alright, so... One final note. <laughs> um, I've chopped up a lot of what I recorded this morning. Hands were cold, hands were shaking. Didn't talk about much until, like, up at the platform, but... What's wrong with my face? Whatever. Maybe it's just the lighting. Can you guys see that? Like... Right in here? Maybe it's just the... It's not over on that side, just on this side. So, I'm gonna go down and get the mail. It's 10.41. Uh, would have had the video up by then, but I realized I wanted to wait to see if the weather was going to kick up and do some interesting things now. Oh! Oh, that's salt. They salted the... I mean... It looks like it, but that's mostly salt. 
we will probably be having freezing rain later. It's visible to me. <laughs> Not necessarily visible to the camera, but then again, small screen. Um, again, a giant dumping of salt. I don't know, can you guys... This is... This is definitively snow, but it looks more like there's... This is nothing like when I had to go to Edge because my Friday coffee review not going to be happening normally. Mail? We have one thing of mail. Like, I don't think I checked the mail in like f five days. Maybe I checked it Monday. Ah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Maybe you guys can see something. I'll check when I get here in the house because I'm going to take this off and record. Or I'm gonna edit, just ate my power bar. Protein bar, not a power bar. Power bar is mostly full of sugar, alcohols. This is full of condensed whey protein and a somewhat fudgy chocolate, blech. <laughs> but anyways, so it's definitively cold. I don't know. Well, I'll see you guys tomorrow for one take. I have a doctor appointment, so I may be just taking the camera and recording. I don't know if I'm gonna drive down or take the max, whatever. Yeah, still getting comments about that poster on the away uniform for the pit bulls. It just floors so many people. Oh my god, he's gay! And? Such a stereotype. People that. That's goobers.